My name is Debika, and um, I'm from India. Okay. Where in India are you from? Uh, Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Okay, very nice. What made you decide to come to UHCL? Um, I had two basic reasons for choosing UHCL. Okay. The first one was um, I had friends who were already studying here. That was the main uh, thing which I was finding out about the university. How is it uh, good and all? Because until and unless I know uh, the review of the uh, students who are currently studying, um, I was the first reason I was selecting was this thing, and the second reason was the computer science department's course structure, which is which was really impressive. Those were the two reasons which uh, I have uh, mainly decided to choose UHCL. What classes have you liked that you've had here? Uh, the classes which I liked was the mobile application development and uh, the computer forensics, which was a CINF subject, and I took it out of interest. Those are the two uh, amazing subjects. And according to the projects and all, I really liked advanced operating systems, which was taught by Dr. Hassel. And um, the whole semester we were busy with the projects, learning and learning and learning. That was so nice. And the next important thing was the research project and seminar. That's the final project. That was really amazing because that gave us an opportunity to work with the real-time projects. And Dr. Beritcher has guided us very well because that's the uh, stepping stone of uh, the first milestone of our lives, the careers in the U.S. market. Okay, so you mentioned some classes that you liked. Uh, if you could roll back the clock, would there be other classes you wish you had taken that you maybe were not able to take? Um, it would be taking data structures another time because that was really interesting. But as I took it in the summer semester, it had really short duration. But I really wish to take it one more time with the whole big semester. Oh, longer period. Yes. If a prospective student would come to you for advice, what would you tell him or her? in terms of things to do, not do, gee, I wish I had, and it could be academic, could be non-academic. So uh, if I talk in the academic sense, I really will find out what their interests are because the computer science department, if they are taking and without interest, if they are going and learning the subjects, it's of no use. First, priority will be given to their interest. If they are really interested in programming and um, coding stuff, then I would really suggest them uh, to work hard instead of taking easy subjects or you know, online subjects. It's really important to take in-class subjects and then uh, taking subjects under tough professors gives us a really uh, good uh, control on the subject. That's what I would suggest. What do you wish you'd learn maybe you didn't learn? That's one way to put it. Yeah, the subjects I would suggest uh, was about the data structures because we have only one section that's the undergrad subject related to data structures. Okay. But it will be really amazing to have a, a more in-depth concepts on uh, the data structures at the graduate level because that's really important. Like I said, you're graduating here in two weeks or so. What are your plans after graduation? Do you know yet? Uh, for now, I'm having a job search and uh, the main criteria I'm having for a job search is to get a role wherein I can learn stuff. I'm not aiming for like big companies or small companies. I'm aiming on the role wherein this is the first step in my career. So as much as possible, I have to learn from that role so that I can have a strong knowledge and strong control on the, uh, whatever I do. Okay, so you want to just get general work experience, industry, get yes. the flavor of that. Any long range plans five, ten years from now? Yes, five, ten years from now, I really want to be successful in the software field and have my own company set up so that I can think innovatively rather than uh, a general um, work that's done by other companies. I really want to start something innovative and creative. Fantastic. Thank okay, you. well, that's all I'm going to ask you.